Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Wednesday, January 27th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Ladies and gentlemen, it might not be Recap Wednesday yet, but we do have some show news for you today, courtesy of the team over here at the Legion Sports Fest. Last weekend they announced that the open bodybuilding was now being added to the roster for this year's events, which means that they'll have six different divisions competing the weekend of October 22nd for nearly 40,000 in prize money, not to mention the Olympia qualifications that will go to the winners. This show always ends up being an amazing event for the athletes, and it'll be even better with the men's open added to the slate now. So if you're interested in more information or tickets, make sure to check them out at legionsportsfest.com. When people say opposites attract, usually it has something to do with the sort of romantic relationship. But in some cases, I think the same thought process applies to good training partners too. And you know that seems counterintuitive at first, but I just saw a really clear example of that last week when former rising Phoenix world champion Alina Popa joined forces with current bikini Olympia champ Janet Leigh. And the two might be the opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of their respective divisions, but they're both cut from the same cloth when it comes to their work ethic. You don't get to where you are without knowing what you need to do to be pushed and pulled in the right direction. So now that they're both pushing each other, it'll be fun to see how that extra oomph plays out when they're on stage. The baseball world lost an icon last Friday when the late great Hall of Famer Hank Aaron passed away at the age of 86. Through his 20 plus careers in the Negro and Major Leagues, Hank Aaron was widely regarded as one of the best two-way players of all time. And he had an unmistakable knack for making spectacular plays like his famous basket catch look routine. And even though Jordan Plantico is a long way from being at that point in his career when he can even attempt to compare himself to Hank Aaron, he's starting to make a few spectacular things look easy. Taking last year off to focus on getting things right is already paying huge dividends for Jordan. So this way, when he's ready to step up to the plate, hopefully he'll be ready to channel his inner Hank Aaron and hit that right out of the park. And finally, I'm closing out today's show by sending a shout out to my old friend Juan Morell, who was featured in a segment on New York's ABC News affiliate last week. For those of who you don't know, Juan and his wife Karen own MyCookieDealer.com, which is a site that sells over 600 flavors of the most insane half-pound cookies on the planet. Apparently, the cookie business is booming because it seems like you can't open up your social media without seeing someone posting or reposting about these things. So if you're now about ready to follow them on Instagram, make sure you do that after the show because it's the only way to find out when they're dropping one of their limited releases. And Juan, I know you're watching this, you know my address. Don't be afraid to send some my way. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.